welcome back guys we are so excited to be back guys last week's lesson was so amazing because we got to know jesus did you get to know Jesus in this week? Intimately. That was so cool. <laughs> Guys, you know what was amazing? When I was a naughty child, mm. I learned how Jesus forgave. When I was feeling down in the dumps, I learned how Jesus just came with his love. And that's how I got to know Jesus intimately this week. Wasn't that cool? It's cool. It's really, really it's cool. It's amazing. Like your Seriously. <laughs> yes. Before we go to praise and worship, guys, just stand like that. Let Asha pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you for another amazing day, Father God. Thank you for having woken us up today. Thank you that we can come together and get to know more of you, of your son, and everything that comes in between and around you guys. And know who you are and within us as well, Father yes. God. May this be a very very amazing and may we just take in everything that's about to be said today father god in jesus mighty name amen amen can i get amen amen, amen. Yeah. guys are you ready to worship are you ready to praise god Let's are you ready yes, yes. Yes. So with Mina, yes. I have a coloring book. Mm. Okay. I like coloring. Do you? Are you I, I'm, I'm not just thinking if you're going to like this coloring book. No, but I love coloring. No matter what colors, 
I okay. can do anything. I know you love colors, but mm. this coloring comes with strict instructions. Oh. Hm. Yes. Okay. So, here is a tree. Okay. Yeah? And they say, take that. And they say, in this coloring book, each item is numbered. And with each number, you have to color it the color that they say you should color it. So in this book, they say you must color the tree red. Hmm. I don't think I can do that. That that feels wrong. Why? In so many levels. No, because why? a tree cannot be red. It cannot. But the book says you need to color it red. Oh, I really want to, but I, I, it doesn't feel right. But you need to, we need to do what the book says because the book is giving us instructions. But I think the book is wrong. Whether the book is wrong or not, you still need to just follow. So just color the tree in red, please, because you need to follow the instruction. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Thank you for following the instruction. With a lot of complaint. <laughs> And just like that, guys, we tend to complain when we need to obey Jesus. Because just like the book, Jesus wants us to obey him. And today's lesson, this lovely complaining lady <laughs> is going to teach us all about how to obey the word of Jesus. So guys, today we are learning about how to obey Jesus and why must we obey Jesus. But first, let's start in the beginning. God created the heavens and the earth. Guys, God made a sun and God made a moon. He made stars. He made the waters. God made animals and God made trees. God even made Adam and God made Eve. Now, guys, the same girl, God, that made everything, made you and made me. And then what happened was the bad serpent came to talk to Eve. And they fell into sin. But that's not where the story ends. You know what? God had a plan. And when God has a plan, everything works together for those who love him. But God's plan involved his son, Jesus. And God sent him as a savior. Can you do this with me? A savior. Yes, because that's what Jesus did. He came to die for us on the cross. And when God sent his son, Jesus, he sent him as a savior for us. But you guys, you know what? In the word we read in John 1, we say, the, it starts with, in the beginning, the word was with God. And the word was God. And then in verse 14, the Bible teaches us that it says, the word became flesh. So in the beginning, the word was with God. And the word was God, which means that the word and God was together. Yes. And then in verse 14, it says, the word became flesh. Wow. Now, who do we know that was God and who became flesh? Guys, obviously, that is Jesus. Jesus became flesh for us to, at the end, become our savior. Ne? So, then what happened was that word became flesh for us. And that we need to follow him. So the Bible also teaches us that his word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Do you remember the scripture? His word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So Jesus is basically the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our paths, guys. Do you know what I'm saying? Jesus is the one that we need to follow. He is the one that we need to obey because everything in the word is in Jesus. The word meaning the Bible. Look, Bible. Yes, 
everything that is in the word we need to follow, which is Jesus. Guys, now when Jesus died and he rose up to heaven, he sent somebody very important for us. He sent a counselor. Do you know what a counselor is? A counselor is somebody that helps you through difficult times, that tells you what to do and when to do it, and maybe counsel you along the road to where you are going. And do you know who this counselor was that Jesus said? Mm, can you think of it? Maybe I can tell you something. It's, it's like a, ooh, it sounds like a wind. Yes, guys. It is the Holy Spirit that Jesus sent to us. He sent the Holy Spirit to help us in ways that nobody else can. Guys, when we are on the wrong path and we take a detour that way and God wants us to go straight, the counselor comes, the Holy Spirit comes and he talks to us and he says to us, follow Jesus' road, follow God's road. But the reason we need to, to listen to him is because, guys, God knows everything. He knows what's happening tomorrow. He's already there. And for that reason, we can obey what we are doing right now in him. We can obey him because he will tell us exactly where we go wrong or what to do. But also, guys, he is our comforter. When it comes and we are feeling down and sad, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit also to comfort us along the way. And when we obey, we walk a straight and narrow path. We have the light to show us where to go. We have everything that we need to, have to, get, to get to heaven one day, guys. The thing is, we need to obey. What do we need to obey? We need to obey the word of God because that is Jesus. The word is Jesus. And what does the word of God say? We need to be kind. We need to be lovable. We need to be generous. We need to be everything that Jesus was. And we must not be jealous and selfish and, and feeling hatred and bitterness towards anybody. Because that was never who Jesus was. And he didn't show any of that characteristic in him. But guys, if we need to obey, we obey God's laws. We obey God's, God's commands in the word. And that leads us on a path where it's straight to him. So today, let's learn about Jesus. Let's learn about the word of God. And let's learn about the Holy Spirit and obey what they tell us. But the important thing is we cannot know them if we do not read our Bibles. We need to read the Word of God to be able to know them. So kids, let's obey what Jesus, what Jesus says. Let's obey the Holy Spirit. Let's obey God's Word, which is Jesus in himself. So... I think it is so amazing to know that Jesus made provision for us even when he's gone. All he wants us to do is to obey him and to actually stick on the path that he's actually put out for us. And I say him because he is God and God is him. So get up. Let's do the verse together. Today we'll be doing out of John. It's John 14, verse 15. So get up, everybody up. John 14, verse 15. It says, If you love me, then keep my commands. Let's do it again. And commands I'm showing with my hands like this because where does our commands come from? Where does God say, that we should actually read about the things that he tells us to actually obey. And that's the Bible. So we do this for the Bible. Okay, so let's try it one more time, okay? It's John 14, verse 15. It says, if you love me, then keep 
my commands. Guys, it's time for us to say goodbye again. But Clarissa, thank you for teaching us how to obey Jesus and why we should obey him. I think yes. it's very important to know why you should. Because you know how people are, why must I listen to you? Yes, exactly. You know? Yes. So if you know why, then you will know it is important. Yes. So before we go, can we just pray? Yes. Put our hands together and pray. Heavenly Father, at this time, Father God, we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts, Lord, for actually making provision for us long, for a very long time. For every aspect in our lives, I would like to thank you. And for giving us instructions on how to actually always be okay. And that's by all the commands that you've given us. And that's through the Bible, Father God. I'd like to thank you for giving us the Bible, Lord, so that we may know what road to take and then how to obey you and for giving us Jesus as well. It's amazing for actually putting the word in flesh to make it more relatable, Father God. For this, we thank you, Lord, that we can actually just see your word, that, mm -hmm. that, that we were able to experience it through flesh. Yes. And we thank you for this, Father God. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Who are we? Children of God. And what are we? Blessed. Bye. Bye.